So building on the counting on um, concept we're trying to develop with children, uh, here's a game that I, I, I've used from the John Vanderwall series of books, uh, which I'm very fond of. It's teaching student-centered mathematics, grades K to three by John Vanderwall. Uh, and it's a great activity uh, in here called Real Counting On. And all you, all you need are uh, two children, a deck of cards, and in these deck of cards you just need the numbers one through seven. Uh, and again, um, the cards don't have one in there, so I've been using aces. So if I go through, um, so as long as the child knows that um, we don't have ones in the deck, but we'll be using aces, one, that'll work as well. Uh, so one through seven, a die, a cup, counters, and also here I have um, something for children to record um, for the activity, in cup, on side, and all. So the first thing that um, children, uh, the, ch the children does is the first player turns over the top number card. So it's three. And then what they do is they take three counters, two, three, and they put it uh, the num that number of, of counters in the cup. Then the second child rolls the die and places that amount of counters next to the cup. So we have number five, so the second player, the second child, will place five pieces. One, two, three, four, five. And now what they do is they try to figure out how many counters are there all together. So um, together with what will happen is sometimes they may just try to count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Um, but as the game keeps going and they keep on practicing, what you'll start to see happen is um, they all start to uh, count on. So three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Uh, so we'll try we'll try another one. empty out these counters. So now what the first child does is the first child opens up the first card and it's the number four. Take four counters. One, two, three, four. Now the second child rolls the die. Again, the number four. So we'll write these on here. So we have four in the cup. And we're going to put four counters on the side. So we have one, two, three, four. So now both children have to decide how many of there are all together. And again, what they might do is they might count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Uh, and that might be a strategy to come up with first. Now if you want, what you can do is uh, you can model with them. You can play this game with them in the beginning and you can show them um, if they're playing this the, uh, with you. Four, you know, there's four in there, five, six, seven, eight. And then you can have them do their strategy of counting it all together. And maybe you can even ask them a couple of questions, you know, which did both strategies work? Was one strategy faster? Um, which one do you think was the easier strategy? Starting from four, counting them all to, or counting them from, uh, from, from the beginning. And as you can keep playing the game and you keep modeling uh, with them, they'll sort of pick up these strategies. So it's okay if they don't do it the first time, um, but they will count on. Um, the more familiar they are with the strategy, the longer time they're exposed to it, um, it's, it's, it's the easier strategy to do rather than count uh, every single piece, and it's something that they will pick up.